Hey FitFam, Casey here. I'm uh, gonna run you through the burn the buns workout. So this is gonna be a glute focused workout. And the way this one's gonna, this is gonna be a little different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, going to introduce you to one movement and we'll run through one full round together. I'm gonna have you pause the video, complete some extra sets, and then when you're ready to move on to the next movement, just hit uh, play again, and we'll pick up right there. I'll run you through that next movement. We've got five movements that we're gonna focus on, and uh, yeah, just body weight, and that's it. So uh, let's do this thing. So no warm up here. We're just gonna jump right in. So we're gonna need to be next to a wall so that you can have some stability. So for this first movement, we're doing a single leg hip hinge. What I want you to do is get your foot so that it can be flat against the wall, Toes are just lightly anchored into the floor. So we're not buckling the toes. We want the whole foot flat on the wall. And we want this standing leg in a position where your knees can be adjacent to one another. So knees relatively even and close together. So that's gonna keep you nice and stable. And then we're gonna get tall in the body. We're gonna do a set of 20 here on this side. So we're going to push the hips back reach the crown of the head long, and we're keeping our knees side by side here. You're probably gonna feel that outside hip, that front, the hip of the front leg, that booty, stick out a little bit. You might feel some burn in there. That's what we're primarily looking for. And then we're going again. So two here, boom. Pushing the buns back towards the wall, keeping these knees in alignment, three, four, five, good. Keeping shoulders square to the mat. We don't care about how deep they get. I think that's 10, <laughs> 11, lost count. 13, 12, 13, awesome. 14, keep rolling, 15, 16, that back foot is just light on the floor, light on the wall, just adding a little bit of stability. 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome, then we're just switching it up. So if you put your foot right next to where that one is, then you'll be at the right distance to just move that opposite foot back, plant it against the wall. One thing I didn't mention, is I want you to keep your foot nice and relaxed on these sets. So you should be able to wiggle your toes, make sure you're not gripping the floor with your toes here. Just keep those uh, feet nice and relaxed. And keep the uh, weight in the heel of this front leg. So that's our first rep. Push those hips back. Two, knees adjacent. Three, shoulders squared. Four, letting this hip bump out. Five, six, seven, going only as deep as you can without your hamstring uh, restricting and going deeper. So we got eight there, boom. Keep that spinal integrity, nine, 10, whoop, 11, 12, tucking the bottom of the rib cage in a little bit. 13, 14, good, 15, 16, 17, good, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. So you're going to do two more sets just like that, 20 per side, and uh, yeah, go ahead and pause the video, knock out two more full sets and we'll join back in on our next movement. All right, welcome back. Going into a hip hike hold. So we'll also be at a wall for this. So you're gonna get sideways to the wall. You want your hand to be able to be flat on the wall, arm fully straight. So I'm standing nice and tall in my posture and the arm is just straight out. So I'm not out far enough that I'm having to lean to get to the wall and definitely not too close to 
that the elbows bend. So just finding that nice, tall posture, good. From there, the leg that's farthest away from the wall, we're gonna move out so that your feet are at hips width. So both feet should be under the bony part of the hip. Gonna get set there. And we're gonna do a uh, five breath hold at the top. So what we're gonna do, take that wall side leg, drive it up, bottom leg presses the floor away from the wall. Try to relax the toes here so you're pressing through the heel and the outside of the foot. And then we're gonna take a big breath into the belly. Big, strong exhale, compress in the abdomen. Big, strong in, inflate the belly, inflate the sides. Big, strong out, pulling up from the bottom of the pelvic floor, in from the sides. Big, strong in, this is breath three. Big, strong out, keep pressing the floor away from the wall, getting the side of this glute to fire up nice and strong. Big, strong out, two more breaths. Big in. Big out, big in, big out, compress, drive the floor away, and set down. Awesome. So then we're just going to turn around. You'll get five good strong breaths just like that on the opposite side, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. So uh, I'll cue it up just like we are on the opposite side, and I don't want to turn my back to you. So um, once again, make sure you're arms width away, open the feet to hips width, right under the bony part of the hip, might be more narrow than you think your hips are, and then this knee drives up, drive that foot away, that's going to push the hips in towards the wall, and the glute should fire up here. Then you're doing your five good strong breaths from there. So, going to get uh, three full sets on, on that, go ahead and pause the video, and knock those out. And once you've knocked those out, wake me up and we'll go on to the next one. Awesome. All right, welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna land on the floor for this next one. We're gonna do a single leg scissor bridge. So we're gonna be on your back and we're gonna get feet to hips width again. Once again, bony part of the hip. That's where your knees should be. Feet should be directly under the knees, heels in relatively close to the booty there, and then we're going to pull one leg in nice and tight under your own musculature. We're going to use the hip flexor here to pull this knee in as tight as you can, head is rested down, arms can be in position of comfort, out to the side, rested on the torso, whatever. This knee is driving in as hard as it can go, and then we're doing 10 reps, driving up, own that top position, lower down. Keep hugging this guy in, drive up, two, lower down, keep this hugged in tight, three, four, trying to get these knees as far away from each other as possible, five, good, try to relax the toes on that bottom foot, six, seven, keep hugging this in tight, eight, nine, 10, set down and switch. Now we're pulling this knee in nice and tight, leaving that guy planted, relax those toes on the bottom leg, pull that guy in, drive up hard, one, lower down, light tap, right back up, two, continuing to hug this in tight, tap, three, owning that top position each time, tap, four, Hugging that guy in tight, not letting that intention go. Five, tap. Six, good. Get those knees as far away from each other as possible. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, ten, and rest there. Awesome. So, I'm uh, going to have you go through two more sets of those, 10 per side. Remember to pull that knee in as hard as you can for all of those reps. And go ahead and pause the video, knock out your two sets, and we'll jump back in on the next movement.
All right, welcome back. Okay, so we're going into your glute focused hip hinge. So this is going to be your bilateral hinge. So once again, we're gonna get feet directly under the hips, yeah? And we're focusing on pushing the hips back, keeping the rib cage tucked a little bit. Knees are staying stacked, so weight is way in the heels here. I should be able to wiggle my toes, be nice and light through the balls of the feet. And while we do this, I want you to imagine that you're standing on a sheet of paper and you're pulling that paper apart, like you're trying to rip it right down the middle. So we're gonna drive out through the whole leg. So we want this to uh, really light up the outsides of the glutes here. So let's start in on that. So drive the floor apart, push those hips back, find the bottom of that position and drive up. And again, drive out hard, hard, hard through the whole movement and hinge up, hinge down, pulling from the hip flexor, pushing the hips back, drive up, good. That's three, four, we're getting 15 here, five, six, crown of the head long, seven, eight, bottom of the rib cage hugged in just a little bit, nine, Drive the floor apart. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and rest there. Awesome, so for this one, you're just shaking out a little bit, and then you're gonna do two more sets of that. So remember, tear the floor apart, keep those knees back, we're trying to activate the glutes as much as possible. So uh, whatever, make those little minor, minor adjustments in your body to maximize that. And go ahead and pause, knock out your two sets, and we'll jump in on our last movement. All right, welcome back. So we're going into your frog bridge hold. And we're gonna do this for breaths. So let's preview the breath from the floor first. So on, we're gonna have just like a little gap underneath your low back and the floor. So just a natural curve to the lumbar. I want you to take a big breath into the belly and expand the belly, expand laterally into your sides and down into your uh, lower pelvic region. Big breath in and then big strong breath out, pulling everything in and up under the rib cage but don't let that low back anchor down to the mat. We're gonna keep that up in that neutral position for right now. So big breath in, expand everywhere, big strong breath out. One more, big breath in, big strong breath out. Like you're trying to drive all of the air out of your lungs with your abdominal muscles. From the sides down to your lower abs, everywhere. Belly button pulling into your spine, but not necessarily driving your spine to the mat. We're not rocking back there. So we're going to do three of those breaths from the top of a frog bridge hold. So the bottoms of the feet together, knees are out wide. We're going to lift the hips off the mat just a little bit and drive those knees apart. Once you're driving those knees apart, we're trying to get those, the outside of the glutes fired up and then hold that and do your expansive breaths from there. So big, full breath in, expand everywhere. Big, strong breath out. Big in. Big out. One more. Drive those knees apart. Big in. Big out. Set down. Shake out a little. And you're going to get two more uh, holds just like that getting your three big strong breaths in, three big strong breaths out. And then that is it for today. Um, if you want uh, some additional work, you could absolutely run back through this uh, again. Um, the more volume you do in a training session, obviously uh, the more command it's gonna put on the body. So find that uh, work set that works for you today. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great day. Love you guys.